Hi everyone, it's Teresa back with Craving Crochet with another video and this is going to be a tutorial. Thank you so much for coming back to Craving Crochet. My name is Teresa and um, I'm making a tutorial for one of my subscribers. She asked me to make a baby washcloth. So, and she, because she saw my original washcloth that I had made probably about a year ago and it was like a ging gingham style. It was like three different colors, green, different, two different shades of green and the white so this is what I had on hand so this is my uh, little baby washcloth that I made it's not quite um, it's more it's a rectangle shape because as I was doing it I've never done anything like that so um, I started it out and I guess I made it a little too wide but I think this is a great size for a baby washcloth and I do explain uh, different ways of making it a little bit smaller or if you want to make it larger but this is it, and so on with the tutorial. Hi everyone. Okay, I'm going to be doing this baby washcloth tutorial for one of my subscribers, and I'm going to be using these colors, white, and it has um, some pinks and blues in it. And then I have this pink, this is all cotton, this pink cotton, and then I have this gray cotton. And this was a request made by one of my subscribers, and I'll show you who she is. Her name is Elizabeth Hilton, and she looks like a very fairly young girl, crocheter. So, and she's asking, "Do you have, do you have baby washcloths? I cannot find one, and don't know the numbers for it." So, Elizabeth Hilton, this is for you. Um, that's why I have this channel to try and inspire people to crochet and uh, so I'm gonna try and do my best now I looked up baby washcloth measurements and they're 10 by 10 so I've decided to make mine a little bit smaller and I kind of have a little bit of a guide according to what I've come up with so if you want to make them larger now I'm gonna be using inches I don't know if you're using centimeters but I guess you can convert it um, but uh, so I, we're going to start with by making a slip knot, of course, and uh, we're going to chain multiples of three plus one. So I'm going to do 24, which is a multiple of three, and then I'm going to add one. So that'll be 25 chains. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and I'm going to do the rest off camera. So when I'm finished with my 25 chains, I'll meet you back and you do the same. All right, so I've made my 25 chains. So 24, which was a multiple of 3, plus 1 makes 25. So the next step is to go into the second chain from the hook and make a single crochet. So you're going to single crochet in the second chain from the hook. So you don't count the chain on the hook. That's the first one. That's the second one. Make a, did I, yeah, single crochet. That's what I said, single crochet. So that's one, two. So you should end up making 24 single crochets because we skipped the first one, right? So just go along and continue making single crochets along the chain of, of uh, 25 that we just did and I will continue this and you continue it and then meet me back and I'll meet you back at the end of the row. Okay so I finished doing my single crochets along the um, uh, chains that we did in the uh, beginning foundation and so we make a chain at the end of the row and then turn your work and then we're going to go in the very very first stitch and make a double crochet so 
So that's one. And then go into the second one, make another double crochet, that's two. And then go into the third one and make half of it by going uh, yarn over and um, pull through the first two loops and then there's two loops left on your hook. And so now we are going to change over to the pink. So let me find the beginning of it here somewhere. Okay, so I found the beginning. I have to shut off the camera because I didn't want to waste time and I don't want you to be bored watching me. Okay, so <laughs> this is the pink, so I just put it on top of my crochet hook like so, and then we're going to finish making that double crochet. Okay, so now we're going to go into the next three stitches and make a double crochet with the pink, but we're going to carry the white. So you yarn over. Wait, there's too many here. I'm going to leave this down here. Yarn over. The white is here, so we're just going to carry it. And then make a double crochet. One. Yarn over. Go into the next stitch. Carrying the white yarn in the back. Make two double crochets. Yarn over. Go into the next stitch. Make half of that double crochet drop the pink, pick up the white, finish that. So we've got two blocks done. Now we're going to do a white block and we're going to carry the pink. So yarn over, go into the next, carrying the pink behind, and make a double crochet, yarn over, go into the next, carrying that pink behind or along the edge, make a double crochet and then go into the third and we're going to make half a double crochet, grab your pink, let go of the white and finish it. So there you have it. So just carry on this way and I'll meet you near the end of the row just doing what we just did. So now we're going to do pink, then we're going to do white, then pink, white. I believe I'm ending with white because I started with white. So. Um, I will meet you back at the end of the row. All right, so I'm back. I'm not finished the row yet. Remember I said we'll probably end up with white. I was wrong. We're going to end up with pink at the end. So, <laughs> so I just finished doing my last three white block. So now we're at the end. There's three stitches left. So yarn over with the pink. Go into the next. And make a double crochet. Yarn over, go into the next stitch, make a double crochet, yarn over, go into the very last stitch, let me find it, make half of a double crochet in the pink, drop the pink, see how it gets all tangled, so untangle yourself as you go. Otherwise, you're going to be in a nightmare here, in a tangled nightmare of yarn. <laughs> I need a lot of patience with this, but it's well worth it because it's just so pretty. And then grab the white, yarn over and finish. So here you have it. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks of three. And this measures, hopefully you can see it okay. This measures about, let's see, this measures about eight inches approximately. Yeah, eight inches. So with the yarn that I'm using, each block you could say represents an inch. So if you want to make it bigger, then you could do, um, instead of doing the 25 the way we started out with, which was uh, multiples of three, so eight times three is 24 plus one is five. So if you wanted to do 10 inches, then you'd have to do 30 chains plus one, so 31. So because I looked up the size of a baby washcloth and it said 10 by 10, but I thought that was kind of big. So I think this is a good size. It's, it'll be, I'll do it eight by eight, I guess. Uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, I've never done this before. So anyway, so now we're finished with the pink. 
So we're going to cut the pink. So let me cut the pink. And move it out of the way. And we're going to uh, now do another um, row of white. So chain one, turn. Go into that very first stitch. Oops, I forgot to yarn over. Yarn over and make your double crochet. Just like this. So one, two, and three. We're going to do half of a double with the white. And then we're going to pick up the gray. Oops. Pardon me. Okay. And uh, just put that on your hook like so. Hang it over like so. And finish that double crochet with the gray. And then now we're going to carry the white behind. And oh, this looks like the yarn, the yarn split. Let me do that again quickly. I don't like when that happens, but sometimes it happens. So let me just do that again. Okay. So next we're going to make carry the white yarn, which is right there. Perfect. And we're going to start with doing three double crochets in the gray in the next three stitches, carrying the white behind. That's two. And then one more. And we're going to finish with the white. So we do half. And now we have the gray. And I think it's such a nice color combo, don't you? So now we do with the white again, carrying the gray in the back. So one, Need yarn, yarn over, go into the next stitch, two double crochets, yarn over, go into the last, make half, get rid of the white, drop the white, pick up the gray, oops, <laughs> pick up the right end of the gray, and complete your double crochet. So I'm going to carry on doing this. So next we're going to do gray again, carrying the white. Um, maybe I'll just do one on camera. Where is the white yarn? Here it is. So just carry that behind. And this is the, scrag, the, the loose end that we started with. Let me just get my self organized. Okay. I'll just do the last three in gray here and then I'll let you finish carrying the white that's two and one more do half in gray drop the gray pick up the white and finish that isn't that pretty I think it's such a nice color combo so I'm going to finish this off and I'll meet you back all right, so I'm almost at the end. I just uh, did half of the double crochet in the gray, and I'm going to finish it with the white. So there's our second row. So we're going now to start with the pink again, but before we do that, we're going to cut this off. Gray. And then um, we're going to do a white block. So we do that by making a chain one. Turn your work and then go into that very first stitch and make your, see because there's one, two, three, so you got to go into the very first one, make your double crochet in there, yarn over, go into the second stitch, make another double crochet, yarn over, go into the third stitch, make half of a double crochet. And then I'm going to take the pink again and start working with the pink blocks. So put your yarn over your hook like this and pull through just like that. So carrying the white yarn, now we're going to work with the pink and the white. Pink and white, pink and white. Just like we did in this row. 
So yarn over, go into the next, make a double. Oops, that doesn't look right. That doesn't look right. Let me do that again. <laughs> okay, yarn over, go into the next. I wasn't on camera. Let's do that again. Yarn over, go into the next, carrying that white in the back, and make a double. Yarn over, go into the next stitch, make another double crochet. Yarn over, go into that third, make half of a double, drop the pink, pick up the white, complete the stitch. And there you have it. Looking nice. So I'm going to carry on doing this. So now we're on the pink. We're going to finish the row. It's going to end up with pink because it's going to look exactly like the first row. So it's going to be a repeat of this row and this row. So the one time it's going to be pink and white, another time it's going to be white and gray. So just carry on doing this and I will carry on doing this. And then I'm going to do the gray and then pink and so on. I'm going to try and go to eight inches approximately. So we'll have an eight by eight. So it'll be eight. This is eight and then eight. Be up, about up to here. Okay, so carry on and I will carry on and I'll meet you back when we get to the end. All right, so here it is. I think I'm going to stop now because if I keep going, this is going to get really big again. Um, so this is a good size for a baby wipe, a baby, not a baby wipe, a baby washcloth. So this is, I think, a good size. I've never attempted this before, um, but this is, I think, the, the perfect size. So I thought if I were to make it eight, because I did eight, it's about eight inches wide. But if I go eight inches high, it's going to be like a big, huge washcloth. And we don't want that, right? This was the idea was to make something smaller. So I thought if you make less blocks, um, and then it would be tiny. So you kind of just have to play around with it. So let's see if I were to, if I had done one, two, three, four, five, say five blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this goes up to eight. So that might have been a good size as well. But since I started it, I'm not going to, I don't want to tear it all out. So, so you could have done, like I said, one, two, three, four, five. So, um, which would be 15, 15 chains plus one, so 16. And then you do one, two, three, four, five, five blocks all the way uh, eight times. I think that would have been more square if you wanted a more of a square uh, look. But um, I think I'm going to stop here because I did it, like I said, I, I went eight squares, which was 25. So if you want it smaller, I suggest my beautiful subscriber Elizabeth then you would do it to five blocks which was 15 chains plus one so 16 chains and then when you fold it you've got a good well, you got a, a really cute little washcloth but I think this is good as well and my battery is dying so I will be right back okay so I'm back so let me cut off. Let me just show you how I'm going to finish it. So hopefully that makes sense, Elizabeth, and everybody else that wants to do a baby size washcloth. Um, I think this is um, the way to go. This is a great size, I think, for a baby washcloth. Look how cute that is. I got to clean up all these. But uh, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do single crochets all the way along to just to give it a little finished edge and my yarn is on the floor so let me pick it up <laughs> so I guess what I'll do is I'm gonna start from here so we're gonna chain one and turn and then just go all along the edge 
and make a single crochet just like this all the way along the edge of this piece I think this is so cute I really like the colors oh what am I doing was I do oh I thought I was yeah I was doing a double crochet yes I always do that when you're working with one stitch then you kind of keep wanting wanting to do it because your brain is in that uh, doing that so it just wants to keep doing it so let me just keep going here and I hope this was helpful Elizabeth and I also had an idea to make a different style of a baby washcloth you gave me an idea to do a different one and I didn't realize that you wanted it these cut like the three colored ones like the dishcloth so I thought okay let me see what I can do um, to help her out so I thought okay let me do a little one a smaller one and then I was thinking before that before I understood that you wanted the tricolor uh, wash baby washcloth I was looking and trying to get some ideas and thinking and I have another idea for another washcloth it might be a little bit smaller for a baby as well um, and it could be maybe two colors instead of all these the only thing I don't like about this is that you have to do all the uh, hiding of the um, the ends but what I was doing was I was also when I was crocheting along I was I was hiding the tails so maybe I can do that when we're doing the um, the edge kind of work it into the crocheting as we go through it so let me just see how I'm going to do the corner and then I'll finish I'll go right into this corner here so maybe in the corners it's good to do um, uh, two maybe oh, I'm gonna, just going to do another double crochet so I did one and two in the corner so then you kind of it kind of guides you along and then you just go along the edge here anywhere kind of thing and just keep working single crochets to try and make see what I'm saying is I'm gonna kind of work over these so that we don't have to weave everything in kind of like leave it in there and then go into here and oh was I doing another double crochet oh my goodness it's late I'm tired <laughs> I've been working all day but I thought I have to get this done I try very much to um, accommodate my subscribers so I appreciate you reaching out to me alrighty then so as I was saying thank you so much Elizabeth for reaching out to me <laughs> I try to help my all my subscribers as best as I can accommodate any any uh, requests that they have so this is my version of a baby washcloth and I hope you try it out and um, like I said you can make it smaller uh, with less chains but I've never done it before but this is I think this is a good size uh, it's not so huge like a like a, uh, a dishcloth but it's it's still a good size it's good for for a bath and it's nice and absorbent it'll, it would be great it would make a beautiful gift so uh, as I said uh, stay tuned for I don't know when I'm going to get to do it but I will try to do my best to get it done um, a different version a different baby washcloth so try it out keep watching and uh, there you go baby washcloth